episode five. Chapter five. Chapter five. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Episode two. Pastor Glenn was next, teaching children religion, as in teaching them not to learn but to believe it needed to be made illegal. It wasn't. And it wasn't the reason Sally and Billy had him on the hip parade. He was a lobbyist for teaching creationism in public school, for Sally and Billy reason enough to whack him, but it would not be enough to get him on the hit list. It was the company's concern as to why. However, Billy liked to learn, Billy liked to learn all he could about who they were taking out, even if it wasn't part of his job description. Not one bit of evidence to support a collection of fairy tales written by who knows who a couple thousand years ago. And you want us to bow and pretend it is authoritative? No. You are propagating obnoxious lies as true to keep people ignorant so you can have them as idiot followers and happy consumers of a mad illusion of electronic personal surveillance equipment and soldiers fighting wars to collect resources and destroy your chosen enemies. You are not ordained. You goat skin wearing bunch of cheaters. You have been revealed as wanting. Billy laughed, but not loud enough for Sally to hear. He touched her on the shoulder to let her know he was moving. He went to have eyes down on the ground. He assumed walking down the street routine. Finally, Pastor Glenn came out of the front door with his little dog like he always did about this time of evening. Time for a piss in the park. The park was well lit and void of blacks, Mexicans and Puerto Ricans. A good neighbourhood. They were all in prisons making the prison industry a booming business. They were playing their part in the war and being free. Freedom was not good for business. Business was war and war was a military rule. And that required putting many people in prison for any or no reason at all. Okay, Sally, Sally told herself. Stop thinking now. Sally had a black wig on and jogging suit. She did not look scary. How could a nice, healthy, beautiful white girl be scary? Not even the dog was scared. The dog thought its owner, Pastor Glenn, was tired and taking a short nap on the grass. The dog cuddled up beside his nice master. His master lay paralysed with a small fibreglass pick embedded in his neck up to his brainstem. He wasn't dead. In fact, he was wide awake, just completely helpless. He didn't know how or what. He had noticed the jogger, but that hadn't really become part of his thoughts. His thinking had been frozen into a form of what, but not quite focused enough to decide even what he might want to question. He could see the moon, it was there above him. He couldn't remember seeing it there before, or even if it, or even supposed to be there, or, or if it was even supposed to be there. That's it, bro. <laughs>